Hey guys, what is going on? I am Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today I want to get into a former Jet, Tony Richardson, making a prediction. Actually, I was going to say prediction, but it's really more than a prediction. He is saying that Dalvin Cook will be a New York Jet. He has some inside information. He said he was at training camp and he thinks that that Dalvin Cook is going to be a New York Jet. Let's roll the tape. Uh, there's a new running back that's coming. I'm not releasing anything. I think that no one knows, but Dalvin, mm -hmm, Cook, Dalvin, will be, Cook. Dalvin Cook will be signing with he, you. He's signing? I, I, like I said, I got, I got a little inside information. Okay. So you he, heard it here first. Dalvin Cook will be, uh, he will be, yeah, he'll be a Jet for sure. Very confident in to from uh, Tony Richardson. And you might be saying, well, how does Tony Richardson know? Has he really been around the team? Does he have his sources? And Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't, but the more of the story is this is going to get done. I fully believe that uh, at this point it will just be a formality because Dalvin Cook is meeting with the New York Jets this weekend. He does not have any meetings set up after the New York Jets. It was rumored that maybe New England would get involved or maybe the Miami Dolphins would get involved, but it feels like it's, it's going to be the New York Jets. And, you know, unless some surprise team comes in here and makes a run, I'd be shocked if that's the case, but... I think Dalvin's going to end up a New York Jet, especially, too, because New England met with Ezekiel Elliott. And I, I, I think Ezekiel is going to be the way that they pivot since Dalvin is not going to meet with them any longer or maybe at all. But uh, I guess that kind of raises the next question, which is who's the odd man out? Because if it's Brees Hall, it's certainly going to be Izzy Abanacanda, who they drafted in the fourth round this year. Uh, and Dalvin Cook as the three, they're going to carry one more. So that means Bam Knight or Michael Carter will not be there. And I would imagine that you could either do one of two things. Number one, try to put Bam Knight on your practice squad, which I don't think that works. I think, you know, unfortunately, a team would claim him if they tried to do that. Or you could trade Michael Carter. I don't think you just outright cut Michael Carter. Maybe you get a day three pick back for him or something like that. But I'd be disappointed if that was the case, to be honest with you. I, I like Michael Carter. I thought he showed a lot of promise as a rookie. I understand he struggled last year. The entire Jets offensive line struggled down the stretch, leading to all the running backs being terrible. Bam Knight could not do a damn thing. Uh, same thing with Michael Carter. And we know that the offensive line uh, and really just the team in general went down the pooper uh, after after Brees Hall and AVT went down early on in the year. Uh, so that really stunk. But uh, yeah, it, it looks like, again, that Dalvin Cook is just going to end up finding his way to being a New York Jet, uh, whether, you know, some some people are very for it, some people not so much. But at this point, you kind of just got to shrug your shoulders and say, this is it. Dalvin Cook is going to be a New York Jet. It To me, I would be shocked if we don't get an announcement, very, official announcement very, very soon. And this felt even more real after the Aaron Rodgers restructure, opening things up more, Dalvin Cook, maybe Quan Alexander. He keeps tweeting out some cryptic things, so maybe Quan Alexander is going to be back. We'll see. Sound off below on your take on this situation down below in the comments. Do you believe Tony Richardson was your take on Dalvin Cook? Subscribe here if you're new. I'll catch you next time.